you know, it's matchups like this one right here that make me love Smash so much as a whole. Any game that lets me play is a 13-year-old boy who can beat poor defenseless animals to death with magic powers and a baseball bat is right up my alley. And, may I say, very bold artistic visions by Nintendo for allowing me to do such a thing. I think that's just about a guaranteed sell for any game that contains that. Anyway, it's for that reason why I love playing Ness so much. He's like the love child of, of Barry Bonds and a wizard. Oh god, not that kind of wiz. Okay, that's, um, that's bad. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, like, just, just check this shit out right here. It's insane. Just, are you ready for this? Watch. Three, two, one, a bu boom He's out of the fucking park, baby! Woo! All right! How to nest. Let's do it. What makes Ness so great is the fact that he's a little boy. Okay, saying that out loud, it sounds a little bit more pedophilic than I intended. Just allow me to explain. Because Ness is so small, that means he's very agile, very floaty, and overall, very difficult to hit. If you're actually good at the game, like I am, obviously, then you can toss a fool around by capitalizing on your floatiness and stringing them along with some quick aerials. After you rack up some good percentage, all you have to do is envision your enemy as a baseball, and the rest should just come naturally. The only thing that hits harder than Ness's bad is Ness himself. Throwing your tiny, frail body at the enemy is not only hilarious, but a great way to get some early kills. Why it has so much knockback is really beyond me, but it feels amazing to pull off, and hey, in this instance, I'm really not complaining. Another way to get easy kills is with his fabled back throw, arguably the best throw in the entire game. I seriously have no idea why they decided to make it so powerful, but it pretty much single-handedly changed Ness from an okay character to an amazing one. If you're playing a light character like Kirby over here and you're above like 100%, there's really nothing you can do except get a final prayer in before you're launched to the fucking moon. Ness's kit is pretty amazing in general, and that extends to his specials. PK Fire is great for dum-dums like this Peach who don't really grasp the whole concept of spacing. Notice how she desperately clings onto the umbrella, praying for some sort of a miracle to happen. A miracle like actually learning how to not be complete garbage at the game. Unfortunately, I can't see that occurring anytime soon. Oh, Okay, going against what I literally just said, you might be thinking to yourself, Ouija, it, it kind of looks like you're getting your ass beat right now, what's going on? But don't worry, I assure you, I got this fool right where I want- Wait, what? Are you- are you kidding me? What the hell is that umbrella made out of? Fucking anti-child titanium or something? Alright, now I really got this joker where I want him. Just gonna PK thunder him on over right to me, and there you go. You see? What did I say? Right where I want him. Okay, very funny. Who's the wise guy around here trying to use my one true main against me. I, does this guy just not realize I know DDD like the back of my hand? How is that information not readily available to everyone who plays Smash 4? I, I, I don't get it. I'm feeling a pretty easy win right here. I mean, I know everything this guy's gonna do before he even does it. This is too easy. I'm just, I'm just trying to get like one good back throw in here to secure this stock, but I really cannot seem to get that good of an angle. God damn it, no matter what I do. All right, we're fine though. We live in, we fine. Okay. Okay, no, oh, that's fine. Yeah, keep on taunting shit, bird. Don't feel so good now, does it? Man, who the hell says penguins can't fly? I want you all to watch this very closely. I'm about to make this man's dream a reality. Just come on, get over here, you, you quarter ton of fun. There you go, just pop him on up there. Give him a little bit of a boost, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. B3, DDD, spread your wings and fly, you glorious bastard, you. Oh, joy, a four glory little Mac. You really gotta be careful around these guys. They're, they're loose cannons, to say the least. You can never really predict what they're gonna do next, so my advice to you would be... Oh. Oh, um, uh, okay. Little Mac? Buddy? I think we might have just shattered this man's brain. I don't know. Oh god! A burn move! A burn move! Come on, dude! Jesus! Just go burn move! Just catch on fire, please! Okay, you know what? I've had it with you, little Mac. Get your ass off my stage! Actually, I lied. Bring it on back. Actually, I lied! Get your ass off my stage! What do you think? I was lying? Alright, this is what I like to see right here. Child versus child. A completely fair and very balanced matchup. A villager, my dude, come on. I know I'm dressed like a bumblebee and all, but that really doesn't mean you gotta reduce me by putting me in some bug net. I mean, that's just pure BM. Come on now. But hey, you know what they say, right? Float like a bee and sting like one as well. I'm pretty sure that's how the saying goes. Right? <sighs> Villager, what did I just tell you? I am not a bee. I do not live in a nest in some tree. Get this shit out of my face. I do not want it. That's how it's gonna be, huh? You're gonna try to put me in the net again? Well, that's just fine. Allow me to put you in hell. Woo! What a 
good game. Anyway, that's how you play Ness.